how bountiful is nature how bountiful how benevolent how great is the nature now going into that one i would like to discuss with you the greatness of the nature in this the uh, first and foremost everyone should know that one on average a human being one person consumes 11000 liters of air per day out of 11000 liters per day in this air is a mixture of gases we know that one in that 21% only oxygen so even though we are inhaling consuming 11000 liters of air out of that one only 21% of oxygen goes into our lungs out of this 21% only 51% of oxygen is absorbed by lungs that means on average how much of oxygen we have been consuming for our livelihood is most important to know now let us look into the the rates available in the market that is regarding the critical oxygen b type critical oxygen one cylinder of 10 liters is 6000 rupees 10 liters of oxygen b type it's a clinical oxygen is 6000 rupees if it is a good quality or the best quality if you want to go it is around 70000 rupees to 120000 rupees per cylinder that is 10 liters so that is the cost of the oxygen now the oxygen what we are consuming every day it's around 2 lakhs of rupees to 3 lakhs of rupees what we consume from the air from the wind what we are consuming it is around 2 lakhs to 3 lakhs of rupees per day that means on average not less than for one year we are consuming 8 crores of rupees to 9 crores of rupees or between 8 crores of rupees to 10 crores of rupees of oxygen we are consuming and it is freely given by the nature the nature gives this one very freely that means on average you see we are so wealthy that we are getting 8 8 crores of rupees of oxygen every year free of cost by the nature now when we take one tree one tree of 5 meters high it's a 5 meters high then one tree provides not less than 10000 liters of oxygen per year that's around almost 1 million rupees or more than 1 million rupees we can say so such trees we have if you have five to six trees around our house in our house and the plants if we have then what happens the required oxygen we will get properly so now here i would like to impress upon you the felling of the trees the cutting of the trees the growing of the plants the importance of the growing of the plants so it is life saving how bountiful is nature we never calculated all this one but when we calculate in terms of money then we see that one we are consuming 8 crores to 10 crores worth of oxygen every year for our survival from the nature free of cost so we are not able to understand the value of this one and you go on cutting the forests we go on cutting the trees and plants to plant so grow the plants now you know that what there is completely pollution everywhere the pollution absorbent is 
the plant only. So the pollution, what we call this one, the purification method is only the plant because the plant can absorb carbons and it can it can recycle and it can again produce the pure air required for the people. If a tree is far away from us, then it is very difficult for us. So everyone has to take care regarding this one. And when you look into the same way, the energy or the electricity, what we consume in the house, and some people, the people who are very close to me, when I come across, I come across with them, they tell me they are getting thousands of rupees of bills because of because of the overconsumption of the electricity in their houses due to different purposes, because. Every household article is based on the consumption of the electricity, whether it is a geyser or a fridge, oven, micro oven, whatever it is, cookers, you find everything. Everything is based on these are all electrical gadgets. So they consume electricity, not only your AC machines and all that one. So the sun supplies lots of power, lots of energy, free of cost. The solar energy, if you want to produce it, really the sun is so bountiful, he is so generous, and he is so helpful, and he spreads heat and energy in all directions, irrespective of the caste, creed, or whatever it is. But it is we are commercializing what the nature is giving that we are commercializing. Clinical oxygen, B quality 6,000 rupees 10 liters, best quality 70,000 to 1.2 lakhs of rupees. And also solar energy. And now we know that what people are producing solar energy. And so the nature has given plenty of things. In the same way, water. Water is also the bounty of the nature. The water, wa water is available free of cost, but it is we we are commercializing everything. Mineral water, water bottles, water packets, and pay and use toilets. So this way, it's all human beings which are commercializing, but not nature. Nature gives everything. The fruits, the greenery. The food, whatever the nature is giving, it is giving for the welfare and also at enrichment of the mankind and for the human being. Let us use it in such a way that nature belongs to everyone. Nature is not the property of the corporates. It is the property of, it's a community property. It is a collective property. It's a property given for, for everyone. For as per according to everyone needs and everyone requirements, that is use the nature in judicious way over use of this one and emission of carbons and all that one are spoiling the nature. As a result of it, the sickness in the people are increasing. So let us take care of this one. Thank you very much.